What is going on, everybody? Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderful day. This is Bradical Riffs, also known as Zach. Today, we got a little bit of a different video. I do this once in a while. Uh, every time there's a pre release or a pack or a new product that comes out for Magic the Gathering, I always try to open it on the channel. Um, I don't really know if you guys enjoy it, but I do enjoy it because uh, I know this is more of a sports card channel, but I really do enjoy doing this and I play a lot. And I got good news today, I'm going to be playing in two weeks. So, um, today, today we've got a Zendikar Rising pre-release pack. I know I'm a little late to this, if you guys know how it came out, it was kind of delayed. Um, but yeah, I went out and got this today, just to see what the product's about. I try to do it every time, pulled that last time, that time. I've, I've, I have really good luck, and that's my next commander. So, let's get right into it. It's time, this is kind of my favorite stuff because I can have fun with it and I really don't have to worry about making my money back um like sports cards sports cards it's either hit or miss uh, this is usually I mean it's kind of the same concept but it really isn't at the same time I can use any card in this pretty much if I wanted to all right let's see what this says you're up for an adventure Marling Spike, you guys can read that and pause it if you want. I'll read it after this. It's a cool little insert. Building a pre-release deck. Hey, that could be good for somebody. If you guys want to pause it and read it, go for it. Alrighty. Pull our packs out. Two, four, six packs. Here's our dice. I think we get this dice every two years. Same color and everything. Cool symbol though. And let's pull that out since that is my code. And let's see what we got. Oh, it's not a bad one. Undo inversion, destroy all permanents, and then you can flip it. Land. So we play it either way. So cool. All right, let's get into it. Pack one. Let's get some planeswalkers. All right, we'll go slow to the first pack, and then we'll start flying through them. Core Celebrant. Whenever Core Celebrant or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life. Okay. Molten Blast. Choose one. Molten Blast deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. Destroy target artifact. You're most likely going with that one. Anti-Cognition. Counter target creature or planeswalker. Spell unless it control plays two. If an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard instead, counter that spell and scry two. Alrighty. Angel Heart Protector. Blood Price. Jiraga Visionary. Dreadworm. Canopy Bell. Landfall. Ooh. Coon Hellhound, not bad. That's the sex, I know it's like a special version of it. Alrighty, here comes our uncommons. Grotog, or Grotag Nightrunner. If you want to read any of these, please pause the video. Core Blademaster. Kazul's Fury. And our rare is Inscription of Abundance. Have no idea what this is. I didn't really research this set. Choose one if the spell is kicked. Choose any number. Oh man, that could be good. Oh, foil right off the bat. It's a cool looking foil too. Skyclave Plunder. Swamp. 
nice. Next pack. Now we'll start. I'll I'll still say the names, but I'm not gonna read any of the beginning ones unless it's something that interests me. Sorry for my. I'm sorry for the weed whack. Cascade Seer. Farsight Adept. Tormenting Voice. Expedition Skulker. Gnarled Colony. Skyclave Sentinel. Expedition Champion. Vanish, Vanish the Weak. That could be good. Seagate Colossus. Gouldraz Mucklorg. Okay. That's a dope card just because of the name. <laughs> I have the hiccups. Iridescent Horn Beetle. Lumage's Domination. And Song Mad Treachery. Ooh. And it's a flip card. Hello. Yasharn. What I really like about this card is I'll read the ability and I'll describe what it's gonna do. Alrighty. Um one sec. Damn win. Weed whacker. Alrighty, when you start enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic forest card and a basic planes card. Reveal its cards, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library. Players can't pay life or sacrifice non impairments to cast spells or activate abilities. It shuts down some decks. That's why I like it. That card can be very good. Swamp and the Drake token. Alrighty, let's get into the next pack. Mesa Lynx, Teeter Speak Ambusher, Zulaport Duelist, Territorial Scythe Cat, Oblivion's Hunger, Nissa's Zendikon, interesting, Expedition Diviner, Spitfire Lagak, Nahiri's Binding, that's it for the commons. Relic Golem, Soaring Thought Thief, that card's cool, for two. Vastwood Fortification, and Taraju Paragon, that's a flip card also. Oh, my piles. Alrighty, let's read what she does. Taraju Paragon. Taraju Paragon is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. She has kicker three when Taraju Paragon enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, reveal the top six cards of your library, and you may put a card that shares a creature type with it from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. Uh, not the best. Narland Colony Foil. Island. Oh, what's this? Oh, you can use this card to um, represent a double face card. It's like one of those cards. It's kind of cool. You can write right on it. Alrighty, three more packs to go, and we are still not pulling heat. Because unlike the Radical Grips, not to pull heat in Magic the Gathering. Alrighty, Negate, one of the most annoying spells ever. Practice Tactics, for sure, Wizard. Nemana Skitter Sneak, Kazandu Stomper, Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Pressure Point, Feed the Swarm, Grotag Bug Catcher. Any of those? Yeah, I didn't think those were those. I was like, what? Prowling Felidar. Alright, we're into our uncommons. Rock Slade Sorcerer, Journey to the Oblivion. It's a cool card. It's really cool art. Skyclave Cleric. And ooh. It's a flip card. Uncommon. Let's see what a throne of Makandi does. Add a colors. Pay one tap. 
put a charge card on and throw him a Condi. Tap, remove a charge card from throw him a Condi. Add two mana of any color, spend this mana and only to cast kick spells. Hey, if you're making a kicker deck, that's a little overpowered. Planes and an insect token. All right, two more packs. Too bad I don't play kicker. Resolute strike, sneaking guide, reclaim. Oh, skipped one. Deliberate, reclaim the waste. The mana skitter sneak. Cunning geyser mage. Vanquish the weak. Ryzen riptide. Sizzling barrage and dauntless unity for our commons. Cleric of Life's Bond. Mine Carver. That's a cool looking card. That right there. Entangled Florahedron. And Skyclave. Skyclave Aberration. It's a flip card also. Alright, we got one more pack after this. Hopefully it will sound good. Skyclave Aberrate Aberration. She enters the battlefield. The battlefield. The battlefield exile up to one target non-land non-token permanent. <laughs> you don't control with converted. That's so stupid. Forest and one of those fill-in cards again. Tazim, Royal Mage, Expedition Healer, Jiraja Visionary, Mind Rain, Rise and Riptide, Marissa Brute, Utility Knife. That's cool. What's it do? Edge of the Battlefield, that has to target creature you control. It's plus one, plus one. Still a cool card. Sizzling Barrage, Delhi Alliance, Highborn Vampire. I think that's what it said. Thwart the Grave. A Fireblade Charger. And Salindu Vision. And oh my gosh. What the hell? What is this? What Wizards of the Coast? I mean, he's a cool creature, but two of them? That, that would piss somebody off in um, pre release night. It's not a bad creature, but you can't put two in a box. Mountain. In it. Yeah. Alrighty, that does it for this one. Um, I don't know how I feel about that one. Uh, that was probably my worst one yet. But uh, thank you for dropping by and watching this. I always do enjoy you guys watching these and reacting to them in the comments. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And take it easy today, guys. Enjoy your weekend.